Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, traders. This is your daily stock market review. Now, this daily review, the stocks or indexes we're about to look at today have purely been recommended by my traders on my database. Now, if you want me to do a, a video like this just for you and review your stock that you're actually currently looking at and maybe get a bit of professional advice on where the market is likely to go on your particular stock or say overall index as well. So if you want that, go to tradinginvestingforyou.com, register for free, that's right, F-R-E-E, -E, absolutely free, and then I'll be glad that you'll be able to do a video just like this and to help you out, absolutely free. So right now, we're gonna do a couple of, uh, a couple of reviews on the overall indexes. Uh, we have the overall index, the XAO, um, that's the overall all odds on the, on the Australian stock market, but we're going to look at individual sectors and see how they're performing. Okay, so we're going to look at a couple today and we'll look at a couple more as we go on through the weeks and months as well. Right now we're looking at the financial sector, that's XFJ in the Australian market, the financial sector. So if we compress our chart up, we can see that we are in a nice big downtrend. But the big downtrend is very, very crucial to understand as well. The overall downtrend is very crucial. But if you're a short-term trader like we are in the trading room, then we need to understand where the overall shorter-term trend, shorter -term trend is going, like the last three months is going, not just the last, say, 12 months. It's very important to understand where the last 12 months is going, but also understanding where the last couple of months is as well. So let's have a look at this and let's see where everything is going through here. All right, so let's have a look here. We can see we can, if I just draw from a line from the top here and just draw it down. And I'm just gonna draw it right through there. Okay, and you can see on what what is happening here is we can see this is where the starter was. And if I open up my chart a bit more now, you can see it actually bounced off here and bounced off here. So resistance, resistance. Market came down, came back up, and formed resistance through there. Market came back down, came back up, and formed resistance through there, and then got knocked back down. So you can tell, if we were just looking at this data here, you say this trend line here is a very, very strong trend line. So overall, you can see that that trend line to the downside is being a massive resistance. What you will see time and time again, over looking over global historical data and spending thousands of hours in front of charts, you'll notice that price support and resistance change roles. What I mean by that, if you see a nice resistance line here, if it breaks through like it has here, it's likely to find support on the other side. Support and resistance change roles. That's very, very important to understand as you're doing your trading, whether it's long term or even short term. But the, the interesting thing to find out in this global financial sector is you'll find out that most banks out there are, um, are, have absolutely been hammered, hence so has the sector. But you'll see that the overall, the overall uh, market, the overall sector of the financial sector has actually been building strength in the last three months. Let me explain a bit more here. We can see if I go from the bottom here and just draw it right, right to the top up here. Okay, look what we have here. I've just drawn one, two, three, about three months. We're looking at a three months and it is a nice bullish upward trend right through there. Okay, can you see that? So you can overall see that we have a nice bearish big downtrend, but you can start to see that the short term trend is now building strength, is now picking up through the buyers. And what we have, we have higher troughs breaking through the resistance line. So that is showing a lot of bullish activity through there. So that being said, we are looking at the market and we're saying, okay, where is the market likely to go? Okay, if the financial sector, the overall sector can break this little resistance through here, then I do say we have a nice little run up to around about the 5,229 mark. If we can break this little resistance, because if we have a look here, this was the previous peak over here. Market ran down, market ran back up, and hit this previous peak again. This has made a double top. 
Okay, it's made a double top. Now that's a bearish pattern, but the double top hasn't actually completed yet. It hasn't hasn't formed yet. Um, so we're not going to take that into account as yet. We're going to wait for it. if it starts breaking below these trend lines, then we see okay the double top is taking place, and then we can do something about it. But right now the short term trend is to the upside, and the buyers are taking control of this. For the short term at least, if it does break above this result, this line through here, which is about the 4,900 mark in the sector, you should be able to see most of the financial sector or the or the current stocks in the sector having a rally to the upside. And that's what I can see. If not, if we start to break it below this this trend line, then I can see it's coming back down to the bottom, which is around about the 4,227 mark. Make sure that you don't use this as just a trading as a, as a, as a trading uh, opportunity, but make sure that you're using um, good advice. Make sure that you're using your indicators, your volume, your price patterns. Make sure you're getting good coaching, and that's exactly what we do in the trading room every day. Okay, so let's. That, that was the financial sector. Now we're going to look at another sector, and this other sector is XMJ. Now this is the material sector. Now when I look at the, when I look at the material sector, I get a bit confused because it's really it's it's obviously a big downward trend. But what's what's the bigger picture saying? So what we need to do on this one, we're going to go and have a look at the weekly chart. Okay, we're going to have a look at the weekly chart, and the first thing we see on the weekly chart is this: the market has been building. Uh, uh, has been uh, losing strength to the upside, and the overall material sector has been dropping. It's dropping down through here, and it picked back up. And notice when it actually broke down, actually started breaking down. Seriously, started breaking down through here, below the uh, proprietary moving average we use in the trading room. Notice how it broke down, and that was the start of this overall downward trend. It just had a bit of a bounce to the upside through here, but overall got slammed to the downside. So when I was looking at this Dorma analysis, you'll notice one thing. Let's 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 have a look here. Let's open up the chart a bit more, and let's have a look here. Let's see what's going on. And what we, what what we can see is here is we can see from the top down down through there. We can see there's a nice trend line nice trend line down through there. We can see it's resistance through here and resistance through here. Now remember, this is the weekly chart. Okay, so that means every bar represents what happened during the week. Okay, what we're doing here, we're just looking at the bigger picture, so we can time our way in by using the bigger picture price support and resistance. Again, make sure you come down to the tr to the trading room because I teach this every day in absolute detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the exact same trend line and I'm going to bring it down through there. Okay, so notice we have a bit of a channel now. Market's bouncing off support, coming up, hit resistance, coming down maybe and, and finding support as well. So that's what we're looking at here as well. But there's actually something quite quite interesting looking at this particular sector. Look at this. If I just draw a trend line from here and draw it down through there, look at that. We have resistance, we have resistance, market found a little bit of support, broke down, but look, came back up. Look where it found resistance right there. A double whammy. A double whammy means we have a resistance line coming down through there and a resistance line coming down through there. Now, if we can see that, we say, okay, right. Now we can see why the overall market has been dropping is because it's been below the proprietary moving average and we're breaking past some significant trend lines. Now, if I grab this trend line down through here and if I just bring this trend line down and just bring it down uh, through, through there, okay? Just bring it down through there. And as to extend this trend line out, you can see we're making a nice channel through there. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to clutter up the chart with trend lines. Let me just bring up the most relevant ones to today. And this is the most relevant ones right now. Okay? This is what we're looking at right now. So let's go have a look at the daily chart. This is the daily chart right now. We can see the daily chart is in a significant downward trend. And you can see that the market has been finding resistance and therefore knocking it down. You can see that this trend line down through here has been noticing a big support and bring it to the upside. So that overall, the material sector is very bearish at the moment. But make sure that you use your own indicators, price support and resistance and get a good coach. Come out, check us out in the training room and I guarantee you won't regret it. This concludes uh, your daily recap. Once again, if you if you want help or you want uh, um, a professional guidance on where a stock or an index is going, come down and check us out, and I'll I'll, I'll guarantee I'll help you out um, like no one else has helped you out before. Please enjoy your day, and I'll see you all next time.
trade in the stock market is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee your profit from the information provided. The information in these videos is meant for educational purposes only. That being said, I've been trading the market profitably for many, many years. So please, do your own homework and make sure you look after your current financial situation.